Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome to the Big 12 Championship here on the channel San Jose State versus Texas. And we have home field advantage for this Big 12 Championship as we go up against a pretty good school, 9 and 3 Texas. They have the number six offense and the number nine defense. I highlighted in the last video that I'd be surprised if they lost one of the last few games and they did they lost to West Virginia pretty surprised to see that so now they're down to number 14 but then looking at well the teams that could make it it's NC State and Notre Dame Notre Dame crawls way back up and they are number two once again and that is going to be a good game for the ACC championship the winner goes to the national title game that's going to be a good one as NC State lost to FSU, and then re you remember Notre Dame, they lost to Miami. So going into this game, we have a pretty good offense we're going against. Elliot Rutledge is a junior red shirts. He's got good size and good mobility. I mean, he's an all-around quarterback. Then they have power back Kareem Carlson, who's going to be a lot to handle. And then they have Graham as well, their backup running back. So this is going to be no easy game for our defense then on defense they have a ton of guys I don't even want to go over each one individually but just know that they are just monsters together and this is gonna be a tough game especially defending this guy Chad Richards who almost leads their team in tackles for loss but he is a monster and he just gets after the ball I think he's a little bit better than his ratings actually he's a senior as well so let's hop into this gameplay. Here we go. Big 12 championship is underway, and we are at home, and we're number one in the nation. Can we keep that number one ranking going into this game? So here's Rutledge at quarterback, and Texas does start out with the ball in the shotgun. Four wide receivers out there. Rutledge is going to throw the ball to the left side, and that's going to be thrown out of bounds the first pass of the game. So from the shotgun, setting a blitz this time. It's going to be tipped at the line, and that's two incompletions. Our defense shows up early. So third and ten. Here's a quick throw over the middle, and then he's going to find Rock Hopkins, and he's going to get eight yards, but that's a nice stop by our defense as we force the punt. So remember, we do have Ray Reed at starter because, remember, a broken femur by our starting quarterback, Josh Tulevsky, the redshirt freshman, and that's going to thrust the senior into this starting role to end the season. So here's Denzel Knox starting out our offensive possession with a two-yard gain. But that's not enough. Brings it to a third and eight. Here's pressure up the middle, and it gets right to us, and we have to throw the ball away. So we punt the ball right back to Texas. So now here's Rutledge back out onto the field. Here's a quick screen, quick screen out to the left side. He's got Hopkins again. Who's going to pick up 14 yards and move the chains on that one? So now at the 47, here's Rutledge. He's getting into trouble in his own backfield, slipping over his running back. So now third and 16, another slip. So he gets sacked twice, and it's by his running back. So we forced two punts to start this game. But on the ensuing possession, here's Ray Reed back on offense, still not able to find anybody as their cornerbacks are top tier in the nation. Speaking of top tier, they have some good linebackers as well. Stopping Denzel Knox for a loss of two. So now a third and 12. Ray Reed throw out to the middle of the field to the right side, and it's knocked away. Patrick Dickerson. So both teams punt twice to open this game. So now here is Rutledge back out on the field, this time handing off to Carlson, who's got a lot of room up the middle, and we do over-pursue on the blitz that time. He picks up 23, and now they are past the 50-yard line. Here's another carry. Carlson out to the right side. Avoids a tackler. Picks up a block. And he gets tackled at about the 23 on that one. Another gain of 20. So now first and 10. They're going to keep handing it off to Carlson. He's going to cut back. He finds a lane. And he almost picks up a block from his quarterback, Rutledge. Another big gain. So now here is the drive. First and goal. Handoff up the middle. Carlson. This time he's not getting anywhere. And that's only a gain of one. So now a third and goal, screen pass out to the left side. Rutledge, he's got Carlson again, and he's not going to get back to the line of scrimmage. That's a loss of three, and we do get them to settle for the field goal. So can we get going on offense? Here's a quick throw out to the right side. It's big Donovan Taylor with the reception, 
you always love to see the big man get the ball. Look at that big fella. And remember, he's a guard turned fullback, and he gets the catch. And maybe that will spark the offense. Here's Knox on the handoff up the middle. That's a gain of six and a first down. So we get our first first down of the game. Here is Reed from a five wide receiver set, throwing out the, to the middle of the field. That's Jordan Armstead, 13 yards and a first down for the red shirt freshman. So now a second and four. Here's Sammy Baldwin getting open to the right side. He's getting forward for a gain of 12 on that one. And we're making it across the 50 yard line. Here's a throw out to the left side. Raheem Makusi takes a big hit, holds on to that one for a gain of seven. So now on a second and three, look at that block by Simmons pulling out to the left side. Take another look, number 63. He just lays out the linebacker oh, and then gets to the God. second level and still lays another block. What a great block that was by the senior. You could just see the impact on the running game that he's had. 95 blocking, but his pass blocking isn't that good, and that's the thing. We've been giving up so many sacks this year, but our running attack has been strong. So there's Jordan Armstead getting the catch at about the two-yard line, keeping his foot in bounds. And that's going to set up a nice first and goal carry. And that's Knox in for the first touchdown of this game. And that's going to make it a 7-3 lead here going into the second quarter. So here is Rutledge now. Back out onto the field, finding Hopkins. That's been his favorite target this game. And that's a gain of 32 as he gets up the sideline and past the 50. Same play out to the left. He's going to throw that way. Lawrence this time. He's going to get hit for a nice gain of 10, though as Texas may have found their groove now. So now a third and in inches. Here's another carry up the middle. That's Carlson who breaks the tackle and falls forward for a gain of three and another first down for this Texas offense. Can we at least hold them to a field goal here on a third and seven? They throw it away, and I don't know. He could have thrown it to Carlson on that one and maybe had some open field, but they end up settling for the field goal. So now we have the seven to six lead. Can we stretch this lead to two scores? Here is... Denzel Knox, and he picks up a gain of about six. So now Ray Reed from the shotgun on a third and four, gonna throw to the left side, and he overthrows his man. Sitting there wide open was B, and Ray Reed misses him. So now another punt here for SJSU and this offense. Here's a screen pass on the next drive. Texas throwing out to Sam Carlson. Carlson breaks the tackle. He gets down the sideline and breaks another tackle, and he's at the 37-yard line on the other side of the field. So now on a first and 10, here's a counter play. Carlson somehow sneaks through that hole and he picks up a gain of 15. So Carlson has been torching us so far in this game. Rutledge now from the shotgun. He's gonna take it himself. He's scrambling out to the right. Remember, he is a dual threat quarterback. That's the first time he scrambled so far this game. So now on a third and one, here's Carlson trying to run out to the right side, but he's getting tackled in the backfield. Loss of four. And that's three field goals. At least we've hold, held them to field goals. So now on the next drive, here's Ray Reed rolling out to the right but getting sacked. And this D-line is nothing to play with. So now a second and 18, Ray Reed, five wide receivers. He's going to throw out deep to the left side, and it's going to be picked off by Hayward. And what a mistake, but look at the play by Hayward. He literally moves all the way across the field, and it's like he read Ray Reed's eyes. He just makes a great play on the ball. And now Texas is set up in great field position. So now here's Carlson on the next uh, carry out to the right side. That's Kareem Carlson. I said Sam Carlson earlier. I don't know why I said that. So now here's a throw out to the left side. That? That's picked off by Marcus Daniels. And we get the ball right back. So what a play by our defense here in the red zone. I mean, that's three field goals and an interception. They have not been able to do anything so far when they get inside the red zone. So now this next drive continues. Here is Jay Taylor getting the catch to the left side, only a gain of five. And that brings us here to a third and five. Ray Reed running slants across the middle and it's thrown to Sammy Baldwin and we just cannot get anything going. Even simple slant routes are not going for anything as wow. I mean, they are just shutting us down so far on defense as this has been a defensive game here in the first half. So Texas, from the shotgun, five wide receiver set. Here's a throw across the middle, that's Ferguson, and that's a nice 15 yard gain as that brings us inside of a minute and a half 
left in the first half. Rutledge throw across the middle. He's got Mitchell little by little just sneaking away and they're getting closer and closer into the red zone. But this is where we shut them down. Third and two. Here is a carry and that's a stop in the backfield. JoJo Forrest. And is that going to be the fourth field goal of the day? Yes, it is. So now 50 seconds left here in the first half. Can we get some points on the board? It's a deep shot, and it's dropped by Sammy Baldwin. I'm not sure it was intended for him, but he had it in his hands, and he lets it go. So now here's a throw out to the left side. There's Baldwin. He's holding on to this one, and that's a nice gain of 23 as we move the ball down the field, try to get some points on the board. So now second and 10. Here's a throw out to the right side, and Ray Reed just misses an open man on that one. Jay Taylor. So now third and 10, 30 seconds left in the first half. Here's Ray Reed, throw out to the left side, and that's gonna be incomplete. So we go into halftime only scoring that one touchdown, and Texas has four field goals. What a defensive half. Let's hop into the second. So now we start this second half out with the ball here in the pistol formation, trying to get this running game going. Here is Knox in the backfield. He's getting stopped. And look at this vaunting defense just hounding the ball any time we get a carry. So now second and 14, a free man comes through the line and look at this, they are just dominating us. We cannot do anything. So third and 26 here, buying some time, throwing the ball deep to the right side. We've got Jay Taylor for 25 yards, but it's fourth and one. We have a national title on the line here as we run the ball on a fourth down, and we're getting up the middle for a nice gain of eight. We have to make sure we compete in this game because it's win or go home pretty much. We do not want another year of missing out on the national championship. But the drive continues, and we get stopped. Once again, a third and long. Here's a throw across the middle, and it's gonna be incomplete. What is up with Ray Reed? This is a senior, and it seems like he's just not showing up this game. He's eight for 25. That was a wide open man across the middle of the field. Speaking of wide open, here is Hopkins getting going, and he's off to the races. Rutledge with a quick throw, and he gets it inside the 15 yard line. A nice catch and run. And he's over 100 yards already in this game. So here's Carlson on the next carry. He's getting up field for a gain of eight. And now Texas is in our red zone. Here, Carlson, a carry up the middle, breaks a tackle. He's inside the two, and we cannot stop this offense on this drive. Here's a carry up the middle. Carlson's in, one yard out for the touchdown, and that's gonna make it a 19 to seven lead for Texas. So we got a lot of work to do here on offense. We have not been able to do anything. This is a good start, 13 yards up the middle. That's Denzel Knox as he's kind of been held in check. No big runs up to this point. Here's Knox again, getting a carry. That's a gain of four, as that brings it to about the 45 yard line. So now on a third and six, here's Ray Reed getting hit on the throw. And wow, we just cannot do anything as this Texas defense is out to play today. So we go for it, fourth and six. Here's Reed, gonna throw out to the right side, and it's gonna be almost picked off. What is Jordan Armstead doing? He could have just put his hands up, and he had that pass, and that's a first down. So now Texas takes back over, and one more score, and this is trouble for us, as here is Rutledge scrambling out to the right side. We've been able to hold him in check as far as scrambling, but if he starts running the ball, we're really gonna be in trouble. But on the next play, it's a big hit and a fumble, and a Murphy falls on it. And that's Haoli Managa who gets through the line. Take another look, just clobbers the ball. I mean, helmet on the ball and everything, just how they teach you. And Carlson coughs it up, and we luck out. And that could have been the end of the undefeated season. You never know, but somehow, some way, we get the ball back. So now on the next drive, we take back over on the other side of the 50, third and three handoff this time. Denzel Knox finds a hole up the middle, showing a little bit of patience, waiting for that hole to open up. And that's a gain of eight as we're now inside a field goal range. So first and 10, here's a counter play out to the right side, another big hole and Denzel Knox gets stopped for seven yards. Second and three, throw out to the flats and that's Tyree Jordan 
putting on a move 12 yards. This looks like a promising drive after the turnover. So now a second and 12, five wide receiver set. Ray Reed gonna roll out to the right, throw that way. He's got Jordan Armstead at the two and he steps out of bounds. So now third and one, 10 seconds left here in the third quarter. Hand off up the middle, Denzel, he's in, touchdown. And we're right back in this game as that's gonna be a 14 to 19 lead here for Texas going into the fourth quarter. So this has been a defensive game for both teams. Here's Carlson on the carry to the left side. That's only a gain of four. And it brings it to a second and six. Rutledge getting the play from the sidelines. He's gonna drop back to pass, throw across the middle. He's got an open man, that's Mitchell, who has a lot of room up the middle. Somehow avoids a tackler, and that's a gain of 29. So now they're at the 22 yard line. Here is Rutledge from the shotgun, throwing out to the right side. He's got Ferguson again, who gets tackled, but he's inside the 10, that's a gain of 14 and a big first down. Rutledge, handoff, Carlson, he's got a lot of room. He somehow gets through a hole and avoids a tackler on that one and doesn't even get touched barely. That's eight yards out and a touchdown. So now we're back down by two scores. Here's a quick throw on the next drive. That's Sammy Baldwin, 15 yards, and that's gonna be enough for a first down. But now we get it to a third and 10. Here is Ray Reed. Gonna throw over the middle. He's got a man downfield, but he misses him. How did he miss that throw? And now we have to go for it. Fourth and 10. Here we go, from the shotgun. Four wide receivers out there. Nobody's open, and we get hit on the throw. And wow, this is just amazing. Texas might have the upset in their hands if they play their cards right. But on the first play of the next possession, that's almost another interception as that could have kept our lives alive here in this game as now they get it to a third and 10. Gotcha, Here's bitch. Rutledge getting sacked on the play. And it's Aoli Managa, another big play. Wow, what a game he's having. And we forced the punt. So we're still in this game here. Six minutes left here in the fourth quarter but our offense has just not been able to get anything going. That's a gain of zero on that one. Denzel Knox steps out of bounds. So second and 10, here's the throw out to the left side. And that's Champagne Green. He makes a move. He's off to the races and he gets tackled at about the 15 yard line. Take another look at the move. He just back jukes and avoids three guys. What a clutch play from a clutch man this whole season. That's Champagne. He's got the speed and a gain of 60. So now here's a quick throw across the middle. Tyree Jordan running over a defender for a gain of nine. And now we're in business inside the five. Ray Reed, he's gonna try to take it himself, get up the middle, and he gets tackled right at the inch yard line. And that's a gain of four. So now a second and goal, handoff up the middle. Denzel, he's in. And we make it a one score game once again with four and a half minutes left here in the fourth quarter. So now we need to stop. Here's Rutledge, we're sending a blitz. He's gonna scramble out to the right side and he's gonna slide down for about a gain of nine. And that brings it to a second and in inches. Rutledge, gotcha, this time bitch. sending some pressure. He can't get away, Michael Bailey is there. But they give the credit, they credit the sack to Emmanuel Thomas, bringing it to a third and five. Here's Rutledge, throw across the middle. He's got Newell. And that's a 17 yard catch for a first down. And this drive continues. So first and 10, here's Carlson on the carry. He's been quiet in the second half as now they bring it to a third and nine. Screen pass out to the right side. He's got blockers, but Carlson is gonna get tripped up and tackled on the outside by Andrew Jordan. And we force another punt in this game. So now this is our chance. Can we take the lead here? Two and a half minutes left, Sammy Baldwin. Catch over the middle for a gain of six. So now a third and four. We're flipping the play on this one. Now from the shotgun, throwing the ball across the middle and Sammy Baldwin can't hold on to it in traffic. And now it comes down to this. Another crucial fourth and four. Here is Reed. He's gonna throw across the middle and it's knocked away. Jordan Armstead can't hold on to it. And look at this defensive play. Texas is just showing up on defense. And now they take back over with great field position from the shotgun. Five wide receivers. They're throwing deep to Jason Mitchell. He's open 26 yards for the touchdown. 
and Elliot Rutledge is just doing Rutledge things. He's leading this team to a possible upset. So now, on a first and 10, here is Ray Reed in a big sack. And this title game hopes may be slipping out of our hands. So now a second and 17, here's a deep shot. But we got a man downfield, it's the senior Raheem Makusi. How did they get, I mean, how did they just forget about him and he got behind the defense? So now two minutes left here in the game. Ray Reed, he's gonna move out to the right. He's gonna buy some time, throw it to the right side. He's got Sammy Ball with a lot of room. He's getting inside the 10. And it's a minute and 43 seconds left now inside the 10 yard line. Ray Reed, he's gonna scramble out to the right side, take it himself and try to get to the marker, but it's, a, it's gonna be stopped one yard short once again. And that's a gain of six, but we do give it off to Denzel Knox who gets in from one yard out. And that's his fourth touchdown of the game, but we're still down five, two timeouts left. So it comes down to this, an onside kick. Can we recover? Here's the kick by Smith, and it's gonna be caught by Newell and recovered by Texas. And now all Texas has to do is run out this clock and burn our timeouts. So first and 10, handoff up the middle. There's Carlson, but we do get the stop there for a gain of nothing. So now we burn our first time out. Second and 10, here's another carry up the middle. It's only a gain of three, and we burn our second. So it comes down to this, third and seven, Rutledge from the shotgun. He's gonna throw to the right side, and he throws it out of bounds, so he stops the clock. So now actually, Texas, they line up to go for it. They have a chance to ruin our national title hopes for the second straight year. So here is Rutledge, three, four wide receivers out there. He's gonna try to scramble to the right side. He's gonna try to pick it up, but he gets hit. It's a big hit, and he stopped before the first down marker. Michael Cummings with the big tackle. Can you believe it? He was inches away from sealing that game and pretty much ruining our perfect season. And now we have a chance. A minute and 10 seconds left here in the game. Reed out to the right, he's gonna throw deep. He's got a man, Champagne Green! A big catch, a big throw. And Ray Reed, can he provide the magic we need? Ray Reed, another throw, out to the right side. Jordan Armstead puts a move on a defender, and look at him fighting for the yardage. Can you believe it? The red shirt freshman showing some heart and he's got a big game. So now, inside the 10, carry. Here's Denzel Knox, and we're in for the touchdown. Can you believe it? That was a four-play drive, and somehow we pull off this miracle comeback. So now we line up to go for two points. And now, here from the shotgun, here is Ray Reed scrambling out to the right. He's gonna throw on the run. He's got Sammy Baldwin. Wow, can you believe it? Two big plays, and now we are on top. And here we are, up three points. Handoff to Carlson, and they got three timeouts. I don't know why they would run the ball in that play, but they don't end up getting anything on that one. So now a third and eight, Rutledge here. He's gonna throw out to the sideline. It's gonna be almost picked off. That one would have sealed the game. But now they got new life here, fourth and eight. This is their last shot. Here is Rutledge from the shotgun. He's gonna throw out to the right side and he's got Fontaine and he's gonna get out of bounds and stop the clock. So now they have a couple of plays left here in this game. So first and 10, screen pass out to the right side. He's got Carlson, but he stays in bounds and he gets tackled and they hurried up to the line and they're gonna spike the ball here with seven seconds left. So we're in this prevent defense. Remember, they can still get a field goal and force overtime, but here's Rutledge throwing the ball deep on the first play, and it's gonna be tipped up in the air, and the clock hits zero. And somehow, we hold on in this game, and we actually come back and win it, and we are going to the first national championship in SJSU history. I keep going back to those two plays in the second half. The first was the Haoli Managa hit where that ball just jarred out, got jarred out. And now we pick up the ball and stall them from getting to, uh, you know, field goal range to even put us out of scoring. And look at this, man. I mean, that hit on Michael Cummings by Michael Cummings on Rutledge 
was just amazing. Look at how close that was to the first down marker, but we hold on and we are going on to the national championship. The first one here in this series, in this uh, dynasty in a while. What a, what a game. I mean, this game was probably, probably the greatest game I think I've ever played here on any of my series. I, I, I think any series that I've had, this might be literally the greatest game ever. I mean, that comeback, I mean, they were shutting us down all game long on offense, and it took that last drive where we just had a four-play drive. I mean, just miraculous. And we come back and somehow win by three. I mean, it's just amazing to see just the fight that this team had, and we end up going to the national championship can you believe it and i think that next episode i want to watch that notre dame and nc state game i know the ticker actually shows that i forgot who they said won, but i don't know if it's true if you actually watch the game so i want to watch the game ourselves and let that predict the outcome i don't know how that works if you know if the ticker says a certain score i wonder if you watch the game will that really happen that'd be pretty interesting to see but we'll see because I'm, I'm actually gonna watch that game probably in the next episode and then the following episode will be the national champs championship and we don't know who we're playing either notre dame or nc state and we do want to watch that one number two versus number three that's going to be a great game hopefully it's just as good as this game because this game was amazing and what a game by rutledge i mean he was just doing work all game and so was carlson i mean those two showed up but I don't know what it is. This team might just be magical. We're going to the national championship. So hit subscribe, hit that like button. In the next episode, we'll find out who we play in the national title game. And we'll get to see it live as well. So stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go.